Hello everybody, in this video tutorial we are going to, to learn how to solve the differential equation of the damp harmonic oscillator using Laplace transform. This system is modeled by a second order differential equation as defined by expression 1. And this system has several applications, for example shock absorber which is found in the suspension car. Now, let's represent this system. If we have a sample spring attached by a mass, the mass is raised to initial amplitude A, and uh, the mass oscillates around a fluid uh, viscosity but uh, the amplitude decreases for each oscillation because we have a loss energy. This uh, damping motion uh, depends with two forces. First is spring force of one equal minus k times x where k is spring constant and x x is displacement second is damping force f2 equal minus c times x dot where c is damping constant and x dot is velocity. Now we can apply uh, Newton's uh, second law. We get this uh, second order differential equation that we have x double dot plus 2 gamma x dot plus omega naught square x equal 0 where gamma is damping coefficient and omega naught is natural frequency. Now let's try to solve uh, this equation. I think we have a linear equation that we can apply uh, Laplace uh, transform linearly. We get Laplace x double dot plus 2 gamma Laplace x dot plus omega naught square Laplace x equal 0. First, for, for Laplace x double dot which means second uh, der derivative, it's going to this result, s square Laplace x minus s x zero minus x dot zero, where s is Laplace transform variable and x zero is initial displacement and x dot zero is initial uh, velocity. Psi for a plus x dot, it's going to this result. So gamma, common factor of s la plus x minus x zero. In the other side, a plus zero is zero. In summary, if we put la plus x common factor, we get expression number two. Before continuing. We need these results for a plus transform damping cosine and sine. Before uh, using them in uh, expression 2, we need uh, transform this polynom polynomial function s square plus 2 gamma s plus omega naught square to this expression. For that, we need adding gamma square minus gamma square in order to get this expression, where omega is square root of omega naught square minus omega gamma square. 
using this uh, transformation in expression 3 we get the solution of Laplace of x defined by expression 3 but we can use the inverse Laplace cosine and the inverse Laplace sine using the inverse Laplace damping of damping cosine and Laplace transform damping sine we can deduce easily the integral solution defined by uh, 4 this solution depend with uh, trigonometric cosine and sine we need uh, simplify as amplitude i times exponential negative gamma time sine omega t plus phi where phi is the phi's angle and we need uh, denote x naught by alpha and x naught gamma plus x naught dot over omega by beta and we represent the phase space between velocity and displacement in the x axis we have velocity and in the y axis we have displacement the initial velocity is going to beta and the initial displacement is going to alpha the angle phi is between displacement and initial displacement and initial velocity from this representation we can deduce uh, sine phi and cosine phi and we replace this uh, them into two for expression four we get the final expression solution displacement x where a is uh, square root of alpha square plus beta square now uh, let's try to plot the curve of this uh, solution in the x axis we have time and in the y axis we have displacement the spring style oscillates that the amplitude uh, decreases for each oscillation that we have three types of damping the black curves is over damping is defined by heavy damping the maximum of this curve is inverse exponential second is uh, the light damping between uh, the both curves we have the critical damping where omega is equal gamma over by 2 this critical damping is optimal that yields the minimum loss energy and the maximum power of the system this critical damping is very using in the shock absorber which is found in the suspension car to prevent the accident and mechanical failure thank you guys for watching if you enjoy this video please like subscribe and if you have any question please leave them down in the comment below and i hope you enjoyed this video ciao